All right, 2014 Buick Vareno. We're replacing the driver's side front wheel bearing. Let's get to it. See the axle nut is a 32 millimeter. Set that aside. Test that CVS. Oh, nice and loose. Got lucky there. Next, we're going to be undoing the lower ball joint nut and bolt. That's this side. And on this side, they are both a 15 millimeter. Make sure you put your nut back on the bolt, spin it on a little bit, so that way you don't lose them. Next, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove this line so I can strike right here with a hammer to get the lower ball joint out. Do that, we're just gonna use a pair of needle nose and pull these out. Move this wire out of the way, just like that. as we can and we're going to rotate it as we do that this thing stuck up a little bit there we go all right see the axle is now removed Try to keep this ring on your CV axle if you can. If not, just put it aside, but make sure you put that back on. All right, and with the CV axle out of the way, we can see the three bolts holding in the front ball joint. This one right here, here, and right here. Yep, they are 18 millimeter. in there you might need to use an extension more than likely gonna need an extension for that top one though because it's so tight to the <coughs> bottom of the I don't think I'm gonna be able to put it back in that pocket like I was hoping no, I'm probably gonna have to use a new joint I'm gonna go ahead and use a nice U-joint for this. Go ahead and just get a regular 3-8 ratchet in here. <clears throat>
and there's the third bolt. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and remove the brakes. The caliper on these is a 10 millimeter. Remove your caliper, put this out of the way somewhere safe. There we go. Next, we'll be going after these caliper melting brackets 21 millimeter to remove the caliper bracket bolts. In the top one, you're going to need an extension because that little bar is going to be in your way. I will say, that's the first time I've ever had a wheel bearing come out that easily. Normally, you have to hit it a bit. <clears throat> to remove the rotor, it looks like you're going to need a T30. I've got my little slap screwdriver. And there's your wheel bearing. Not too bad, but was making a bunch of noise going down the road. So, that's all there is to it. Reinstall in reverse order. If this video helps you out, leave a like and uh, consider subscribing. It really helps us out, and it may help you out in the future when we upload new videos. Thanks for watching.